you have been here for the past five days and you have attended a lot of meetings you have participated and contributed in a number of discussions what is your general impressions about uh, the entire event that is dealing with uh, the important matter of uh, rural women and girls mm, thank you very much Mloto. actually what impressed me is that now the women are ready to raise their voices when it comes to uh, domestic violence, when it comes to rape, when it comes to cultural practices like Ugutwala, Ugutola, and these other ones that are, are happening in our rural areas. That is what impressed me. Yes. And obviously those are what are, is categorized here and everywhere else as uh, backward uh, traditional practices that continue to really pose a challenge for women uh, where the rights of women are being trampled upon. What is the role of uh, Parliament in ensuring that uh, these practices uh, are eliminated and that the rule of law continues really to protect uh, rural women and girls? Actually, uh, Parliament is ready when you hear the ministers doing their presentations, you could hear that from different countries, all the ministers are saying no to rape. They are saying no to domestic violence. They are saying no to early child marriage. They are saying no to non-practice of what we have said in our acts, that we're going to, pro to protect the women and the girl child. That is what I've heard, and that impressed me. The only thing that is scary is that uh, our women out there, they, they know, well, we are saying there are policies, but they don't know the policies that can protect them. And the other thing that makes me scary is that even last year, we were here on the very same conference or session. All the resolutions that were taken were still repeated. And then. Uh, really, because we are left with uh, only a couple of days before this important session uh, concludes. What are the issues that you will say uh, you, uh, Parliament should take uh, from the discussions that have taken place here? Also learning from the experiences of other participants from other countries. What are the key issues in your view that Parliament should take and uh, really pursue them in terms of the liberation and the promotion of the interests of uh, rural women and girls? I was touched and impressed by what is happening in the two countries. Well, many countries were presenting, yes. but I was touched by what is happening in Greece and also in Philippines. These people are having their workshops that are in progress, whereby they gather the women and the girl child together and educate them about the law educate them about the policy and even make sure that whatever they are educating is also implemented in those different areas. For example, we, we heard that they develop the women when it comes to, to uh, agricultural skills. And those women are being catered for with the resources, they are being given land in order to practice that. And the other thing is that uh, in their awareness, they make sure that they protect their girl child. Their girl child are being encouraged not to go for early child marriage. Their girl child are being protected when it comes to rape and early pregnancy. Their girl child are being taken care of when, even when it comes to education. And that impressed me. When I go back home to South Africa, you find that we still have this program of Ugutwala, whereby the older people or, old, or, or elderly parents will just enjoy to see somebody taking the child by force and giving them cows in return, of which that delays the education of all these people, all, all this uh, uh, girl child. And then you then take your mind back. You ask yourself, actually, are we going to assist them so that they end up 
uh, knowing that rape is an issue and is the thing that the girl child cannot really live with, you then ask yourself, the laws that we're talking about or passing in Parliament and the policies, when are we going to practice them? Well, as the wife of traditional leader, I remember my husband is, is the chairperson of uh, uh, the traditional leaders in the province. You then ask yourself, I want to take you back to the issue of the land, whereby the department is saying they are championing this issue of one household, one hectare. You then ask yourself if ever this indeed is happening. But what I can say proudly is that in my village, my husband is practicing that. Whether you are a married woman or not, you have your piece of land where you can build and maybe practice even agriculture in your yard for your kids to have something at the end of the day. Whether you are a boy, you're not married, they get that piece of land. But then you ask yourself, if we can be able to practice all this, are we not going to end up assisting our people? Yeah, yeah. No, 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 I fully agree. And that is very important because uh, some of the issues really that has, uh, have emerged during the discussions here is that uh, you've got those uh, backward traditional practices whereby a woman cannot qualify for a piece of land or for any inheritance of land just because uh, she's a woman. And that will rather be given to a male uh, member of the family, even if that is a, a six-year-old boy. Okay. After what you have just yeah. said, I think we need to emulate what the traditional leader from Kenya said. Yesterday in our meeting, when we were having the side meeting with Ilita Labantu, that traditional leader was touched and he saw a need to go and work with the department in order to take care of the girl child and these women who are suffering. Uh, I would want to say if we can make or maybe join this program as traditional leaders in South Africa, we listen to the government and the government listen to the traditional leaders and the politicians, of course, when it comes to other political parties in parliament. I believe there's nothing impossible before God, and it won't be impossible before the leaders of, of our country. I think in that way we'll be able to take South Africa from where it is now to a higher level.